<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 46 first round match between Perivale and his Pro Elves and Necronome and his Necro. In the booth with me is Kalon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a super exciting game, really looking forward to this. Um, both teams are uh, pretty good. Uh, Necro's Necro is, uh, well, it's a really, really nice team. Uh, really well put together. It has those beautiful double stand firm uh, wig, well, wiggets. Wiggets, um, yeah, the old wiggets. The old wiggets. And uh, Pervil's team is fine. He lost some stuff uh, trying to get it qualified in the last hurdle. But, um, you know, Pervil knows his way around the Pro Well for two. Yep. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to this. It's going to be a fun game. Yeah, glorious. Um, thank you very much, Backyard Dodo, for staying fantastic for 45 glorious months as well. Thank you very much. Right. Mm. So we go. Good lord. Um, Chatter already on one. This is fantastic. <laughs> God, yeah. Prolapse. Yep. It's pro prolapse central, central around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The movement cool. nine ghoul is pretty cool, isn't it? But I, I, isn't I, it? I, yeah. yeah. Mm. The, the You're not tempted to go for the old uh, move move eight armor eight? No. No. I jest. I jest. I jest. <laughs> no. Do you know? I always thought that a move nine armor nine war dancer would be good though. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, that's really interesting because there's no other skills it really needs because it already has bludge, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So hmm. I, thought, I thought strength 5, agility 5, move 9, armor 9 was, was what I would like from a dun They do like tackle, though, to be fair. They would, de would yeah, definitely like and, and strip ball, yeah. But hmm. uh, yeah, that's well, that's really, really interesting. Hmm. I wonder if there are other pieces like that that you could kind of legitimize uh, putting uh, those type of stats on. Because yeah. uh, it does get fouled a lot as well, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, yeah. Every time it goes yeah. down, it's guaranteed to be fouled until it's dead or the Wood Elves have scored. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Or maybe a Witch Elf as well. No, Witch Elf needs too many skills. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Wood, uh, dancers are pretty unique in that they've got pretty much every skill you want. You would yes. be happiest getting six uh, stats on them out of anybody, I think. But anyway... Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. We'll probably pay attention to this. Yes, probably should try and pay attention to the game. <laughs> yeah, the, so the Pro Elves, mm -hmm. I would fancy Pro Elves against Necros normally because Necros, it's difficult. Like, you know, you, you, your Wolves with with Frenzy isn't so good against Sidestep. Mm. And so that's a, that's a bit of a shame. But obviously the, the higher TV, they get they get DP and a bench. And the yes. Pro Elves have not got a bench. The Pro Elves do have a no. Wizard and a Babe. So mm -hmm. things might happen. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's things. It's nice little toys that they have at their disposal. But um, yeah, any any anybody that gets lost is obviously a hugely um, problematic issue, uh, and uh, it's very easy for them to get lost given that they're you know armor seven shitheads. Yes, because um, they do tend to get removed quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, like uh, the most of any elf team, I would say, because they're a bit slower than woodies and they don't have a tree yeah. to protect them. And I suppose it's kind of, it seems the, the nature of them as well, those times where you have to kind of close in on things to uh, get some hits off. Uh, that turn where the, so what else when they turn you over, you can leap a war dancer in and he'll get the ball off you and you fuck off with it and all the rest of it. But with pro elves, you tend to have to kind of collapse onto the cage a bit. And there's a turn or two where you give away a rake of hits that you wouldn't normally give away on, on wood elves, I think. Yes. If you follow my logic, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mm. They start with less dodge, don't they? Like that's a big. Factor. Yes. Yeah. Um, this and your your was your, a terrible one D, by the way, instead of a two D. Yeah, hundred percent. Especially was well, he was going to take that three plus to get the guy out of the cage in the middle, but uh, yeah, I probably would have just stood him up so they could get take the two D on him. But it's I, I suppose it's tricky. You could be very cl clinical about or critical about trying to blitz stand firm as well, but when the majority of the main targets are four big stand firm lads, it's it's difficult to kind of give them grief for it. Yes. Yeah, but definitely don't make it a one day. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's entirely fair. Um, obviously must have been some kind of mistake. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a gaping hole here, but he's not really pushing through it, is he? No. Uh, I'm curious as to... Oh, so he's not... Oh, okay. Yeah, I would have thought he was going to... It looked like he was going to hold up in the center, but uh, no. He's going over to do this foul on a loner, wow. which seems pretty poor value. Yeah, there's a guarder right there. Yeah, there's a guarder right there, and there goes his dirty player. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Strange one. I don't like um, 
No, um, no, not with the fact that there was another guy there. Obviously, it's got less um, uh, assists and what have you, but, um, well, yeah, I still would have totally gone for it. Didn't deserve a GFI, and he could have uh, used the fact that he was going up there to uh, crowd around it even and get the uh, extra assists before he went in and fouled it. Yeah. And even then, like what? If, yeah, I suppose you don't want to be in base contact with guard, though, right? If you don't get the, if you snake it or whatever, if you go full gym foul. <laughs> yeah, there is a, there is a chance of the ultimate gym foul. Yeah. But I mean, this this area is pretty safe, so I'd have liked moving the ball up and getting this. I, I I think so. Yeah, I think I would have liked to have been in there. Yeah, and uh, see what they do, because uh, as I said, I think most likely what you do is if you present them with that type of box, they'll close in on you, and then. You know, that's pretty good for you, if provided they don't get the ball. You can just start punching them. <laughs> yes, provided you don't like 1 in 12, 9, 6 or 1 in 81 yeah. and cr crucial yeah. fails like that. Yes, yes. but those things good. never they never happen in Blood Bowl. I mean, we've all played Bubble and I've never seen anybody roll a double one, ever. That's true, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that was a bit of a frenzy opportunity there, but uh, not, not fully. 2 into 1, I suppose, isn't terrible, but uh, it's not great either. No. And uh, pushes into the sidestep. Um, I suppose he wanted to keep it. himself on the outside. <laughs> yeah. That would have been nice earlier in the action, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, this is rowdy. Ooh, yeah, it is. I know there's a loner there and stuff, and what are you going to do? But now you have to take your back corner off to get the foul in. He's going to foul it again, yeah. Yeah. He really doesn't like that particular loner. <laughs> he doesn't, and he is the whiz. No. I yeah, quite like that, using the whiz there because it's it's all yes. you've already crowding in. Like okay, you might be able to get it without the whiz, but you might as well yeah. stick the whiz in and make sure. That's pretty huge as well. Uh, yeah. It was he did give away that hit himself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is pretty nice being able to just uh, take this. Probably would have taken made, made that a one and just taken it to get the guy out of the way. So he's going to come through with his dodger, uh, in who's in front of the two stand firm. So if you can just uh, take this. Uh, two dice. No, he, oh, he can now. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the plan. Uh, okay, cool. So he takes that, and then he's gonna three plus, three plus three. Uh, maybe a pass back out as well. I'm just gonna scatter now because the uh, because that was just a push, I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah, not that's fair enough. He's clear that he's gonna clear the ball. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And now that just works. three. He's three, not three. Oh, he's coming in the back. Yep. He's coming in the back. Oh, sure lovely. Hands. With sure hands. Much better. Yeah. He knows his team better than us, it would appear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, didn't do much to uh, cover him. That's a lot of trust in Bludge. That is trust in Bludge, yeah. Is yeah. it diving tackle on the wolf? Nope. Uh, no. But he's got sidestep, so he's, he's kind of safe from the wolf blitz anyway, because of sidestep. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I mean, the wolf can just come and assist, right? Oh, no, he has to get that guy out of the way first. So yeah, he's going for it with the with the wolf by the look of it. Just cover these guys off before he makes the dodge. Gets the dodge. Re -roll. And doesn't get him. Yeah, has to take the block to keep him trapped. Yeah. Yeah, which is a good call. And then rolls a skull on the surf. Okay. Oh no, it wasn't. It was the other way around. Yeah, he yeah, he was get himself to off. Try and, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. To, the zombie was trying to get himself off. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty nice, actually. Uh, you just run away from this, right? There's no need to punch it, especially with stand firm. Yeah, you can't really clear because you'd have to. You'd have to fill in that square and blitz the wolf. Mhm. Mm oh, does get rid of stand firm, and uh, can bring him through. And yeah, that's really, really nice. Which is really nice. Doesn't go for the surf. No. I suppose it was a bit tricky, was it? Kind of. <gasps> Whoa! Pops dodge, but makes it. And gets himself quite far down. Um, Wolf is in range, though, right? Well, I suppose it's a one dice, and he's got Blodge in its sidestep, so... Yeah. And he's yeah. got this one to try and tidy up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's better. I wouldn't mind a G out. There we yeah. go. Lovely, 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 lovely. That's really, really nice. Geez, great play by Parvel. Fair play to him. Yeah. Uh, curious to see how many turns he can hold this out for. If he can get two turns out of it, he's golden. Yes, yeah, he can score on turn seven, can't he? And okay, well, he yeah. won't be happy about giving up the extra LOS, but there's unlikely to be a one turn. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think, yes, turn seven is absolutely fine. Yeah, I don't think there's well. I mean, obviously, there's the big KO roll for that wolf coming in. Yes. So maybe that would be nice to be able to get him back in. But, uh, you know, I think um, I think he'd be quite happy to go in on seven. Obviously, turn eight would be prob probably be better. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you always want to score on turn eight if you can, don't you, pretty much? But yeah, indeed, yeah. Not terrible. It's, not, it's Kalon G. I ravel. Hello. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the potato over on the right-hand side there. <laughs> yeah, he's Irish. He doesn't or have a you, GFW character yet. Yeah, if you ask Demi, I'm over on the left there. Because <laughs> yeah. he doesn't understand, you know, basic uh, <laughs> directions. Uh, yeah, hi, how are you? Nice to have you here. Thanks for coming along, Ayrville. Um Oh, it really should be reading. I really should be going through uh, chat. Uh, fantastic. Cool. Yeah, they've stopped talking about prolapses, so this good. is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's rolled a double one. No, he's just rolled a one. He hasn't got dodge on this guy. It's a blitzer, isn't no, it? Blitzer? No, it is. It's a rookie blitzer, yeah. Uh, maybe that's why he's going with the blitz for him. Maybe he's seeing if he can get him over to the right hand side here, because all of those guys on the. Uh... Oh no, he's not. I thought he was going to see if he could pan pass it off to him. I'd be tempted, I think. Yeah, no, he's going first. Oh, he's going for that guy, for the wrestler. Okay. Yeah, and then get him all the way over to the other side of the pitch. Yeah. And now he's got two side steppers between the wolf. Yeah, that's pretty hard to argue with. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whoa. He's rolling ones, though. Uh, that's not very nice. No, He's going to have to work on that. Yeah, rookie error. Uh, you'd think a guy who plays pro elves this much would not would know not to roll this many ones. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's got dodge on every well, on nearly every one, but still, there's no re no reason to roll this many ones just because. No, there, there really dodge. isn't. Yeah, exactly. Um, would be very very nice to get a level on that rookie catcher or the rookie uh, blitzer, though, wouldn't it? Even if you can get it in dodge for the next round, would be just spectacular. Yes. Uh, yeah, talking absolutely. about another an another player that needs very little to become just amazing. Yes. Uh, coming with block and sidestep is just so good. Uh, going for the long shot here. No, he can't even reach. So, would you be tempted to do oh, the, oh, the four the four nine, three? The move nine can just get there. Okay, he can't get there. He's going to stand no, here. No, he's going to stand. He's going to GFI oh. to stand there. Um. Not dead! Yeah, he didn't die. Well done. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what the standing there helped. Was oh, there, no. there a benefit to that square that I'm not seeing? I'm not sure. Obviously, he did it for a reason. I, I yeah, have indeed. no idea what yeah. that reason is, though. Uh, uh, no, nor, nor do I. I'd really like to see a handoff to that blitzer. Yes. Um, yes. And I think we're going to... Can we see it? Yeah, I think it's pretty safe now, so I think now yeah, you Yeah, fantastic, and now you just go in the top. Yeah, fantastic. You can go at the top and pass it back into him. Not even going for a pass, because it's that important, and I really, really like it. Yeah. I don't like him not tucking around the back, though, right? The wolf. Like, okay, there's tackle there, but you can go 4-3 yeah. to get round, can't you? One, two, you you three, can, four, yeah. Five, I, six, seven, eight, nine. I think the probably the loner was in the wrong position there, but he, he's... Can he cover this off? Not really. But no, it's... Uh, well, I can... So yeah, no, he can get through, so... Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I, think should, I think you should have had somebody there. I, I agree. Yeah. Um. So there's the blitz does come in. Um. Cool. Don't you, have I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you, have I, this time. <laughs> don't you, have I? Yeah. <laughs> He's got no uh, right, yeah, no. So he's just he's just given up uh, on this and uh, is going to try to hide his uh, good players. Yeah, cage, which is cage, a solid call. Cage the ghoul <laughs> is always yeah. a good classic necro uh, undead strap. Yeah. So this was a fantastic drive for Paravel, you have to say. Uh, I doubt he's going to do anything else because it's so important that he just gets these three SPP on this guy. Yeah. Uh, a really nice drive. Wizard is gone. Uh, but you'll take that all day. I'm managing to get the eight turn stall will also stop the uh, wolf from getting two goals at his KO rolls. Yeah. So really, really nice. Yeah. I think he should have. Uh, I think, however, he should have uh, blitzed mighty blow. <laughs> uh, yes. 
Yep. It's, it's only a 1 in 12, 9, 6 that you're punished. And like, if you are, then at least you can just say you were diced. Nothing you could do. <laughs> Most diced man in Blood Bowl. Uh, I suppose the, the guy to hit would have been the, like, because he had left the only guy, well, they're fast, but uh, I'd say the guy to go and hit would have been the rookie uh, golem, right? I think he might have been uh, like the good golem. Um, yeah, cool. Fine. Yeah. I, 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 there's a part of me that would prefer to hit the rookie golem because you're not tempted to re-roll as a fail, failure. You can take the both down on the other guy. Oh, I, yeah, I, mean, I, would, I would just be greedy at that point. You know, yeah. Try, the, try to get the mind yeah. to roll. And yeah. I, I wouldn't read yeah. anything unless it was trip skulls. Sure. <laughs> yes. Skulls. Yeah. M maybe skulls. do a trip if you could. If you could get yeah. a, like if you could get somebody like one mm. white or whatever in a three D, then that'd be better. I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and you're probably right. It probably is really really good to go and get those. But uh, honestly, though, with the guaranteed three points on that player. For the next uh, round, I would uh, I, I would be really really tempted to not to throw any dice because they you know yeah. they can just fuck you. Perfect defense is pretty good for Necronome. Mm. Uh, Going to be able to reorganize all of this. Two flesh golems and two whites, all of whom have stand firm, just blocking off all of this. Yeah, it's mm. actually it's actually not a problem because I, I heard that if you, if you go for a quick score, it always works and there's no dice involved. Oh. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this. So this was all just is an overreaction to uh, what was basically just a faint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's no that's fair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hello, Matthew Nadal. How are you? Yes. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Tom. Hello, man. Hello, hey, Tom. I've already said hello to some people, yeah. but you know, hello. <laughs> Let's uh, say hello to them all again. Make them feel like you know valued members of the community. Yeah. Because uh, some of them don't have any lives, and um, they need some uh, structure in their lives so <laughs> people uh, on the internet who can pretend to be their friends saying hello to them manages to give them some bit of solace so let's do that <laughs> you know <laughs> really, really unnecessary <laughs> way. Uh, passive aggressiveness is uh, one of the greatest skills that an Irish person has uh, it's really fun it's really fun learn it from our mammies yeah uh, yeah nice hey Jay Baza how's it going <laughs> Uh, super excited to chat to a bunch of these guys about um, some of the events they're going to go up to. Uh, you're not tempted to go. You're not going to the um, NAFC next weekend. Or not the NFC. What's it called? The uh, What's the event next weekend, lads? Oh, it is the NF NAFC. Yeah, the NAF Championships. So it's not the... I keep getting... Because it's the UKTC was the one that just happened a couple of months, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and but, the, the, um, the tickets have just gone on sale for 2023 and they've already sold like 17 yeah. out of 90 or something. Absolutely incredible. So many people just absolutely hyped to be uh, get back in playing Blood Bowl. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of the lads from the community going next weekend. So uh, I'm super curious to talk to them about uh, builds and what have you and what's, uh, what's, what's in vogue and what's going to do well. Mm -hmm. I know um, Kfo is bringing his um, slan, yeah, he so him, um, he? he's mad for slan at the moment. So clearly, there's something there. Yeah. Um, yeah so I'm, I'm looking forward to having a good old cock at them. See what I can get out of it. I guess it's the like multiple rerolls in one turn, right? The, the, you know, yes. The, 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 you can try some bullshit, and then when when the first bit works, now you suddenly got yes. millions of rerolls. You just, you just go, just go for it, yeah. Because you managed, you've got four rerolls there. So you can just go. Well, this is the turn I get your ball, and I can put three rerolls into this turn. It's just ridiculously good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Super exciting. I mean, well, even I mean, in a very because talking to your audience as well, we could even say, imagine looking at Rick's game against you last season, and uh, the snake that he had. Um, after getting the ball back, um, well, the snake—I suppose you can't deal with the snake. But all of if uh, just having multiple rerolls on that turn would have been just so monumentous. Yes, uh, yeah, so it's horrific, Absolutely horrific, horrific. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, I heard you say you're not a fan of Slam, though. You don't like the um, uh, Pogo rules, no? You thought it was a bit. Well, they're just not. They're completely made up, aren't they? Like that. I don't like that they're yeah. a completely made up NAF team. Okay. So you only like the teams that are made up by GW, basically? Well, it's just, I just, it just irks me because it's just random. Like, so yeah, mm. if you're gonna play a Games Workshop team game, then you should play a Games Workshop game, shouldn't you? You shouldn't play like something that somebody made. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. 
So it's not dissimilar to the, this is this is your feelings on the simians as well, right? Yes, yeah, I despise and it's the, simians. So it is so it's the same it's the same um uh, similar problem that you have similar yeah. similar like Kislev mm. uh, well no they they are just slan aren't they so slan Yep. No no they must they must be Kislev if they're on pogo sticks. So now they must officially be Kislev, right? For the NAF. they oh. won't be because they'll call them slan. But... No they're slan it's that they have the the rule that they have is called pogo because yeah. pogo is a game mechanic. Well that's just stupid isn't it? They should have made them officially Kislev on pogo sticks. And then that right, would work. right. <laughs> Wouldn't um, it? Well, it's the. Uh, I works. suppose, yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. That they actually have pogo sticks. That's that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, I think. Well, I'm trying to think. Are there other examples of something that where that has a? Yeah, I suppose the the bear. Well, no, that's another exact example because he's got a pretty. He's a proxy <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, and he's got a prosthetic uh, tail, which isn't a uh, prehensile tail. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> poor, yeah. poor Crocs, he lost it in an accident. It didn't he roll did, back. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. now he's got a prospect. <laughs> 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 he did, yeah. But uh, a bear took it. And he just <laughs> he, he just carries it around with him now. He's, he's three tails already. <laughs> just uh, just like showing off. <laughs> um, I do enjoy the fact that they... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Okay, the, thank you. The, yeah, no, I won't. I, I'll, I'll tell you about it off when we're not on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, remind me to come back to the Kiss Love Circus. Um, I cool. So like the, this, uh, I don't like tagging from here, right? Because you want to protect yeah. the ball, and this is just encouraging it to hit the three plus and, and hit you the ball. I, it yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I, I that. Uh, so the previous turn was actually quite good. It was great to be able to get some pressure in on them, and it all came down to just there was a snake happened uh, when he was trying to get the guys over to cover it. So a nice turn from Necronome, um, and a quick response uh, by Paravel, which. This was a free 2D on the ball, and he hasn't taken it. No. Bamboozled. Yeah. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got to take this 3+, plus, right? Well, he has now, but he had a free hit, and he didn't take it. Oh, right. Oh, he's hitting with... He was, he's double G if I hit with tackle. I think it's definitely better just to take it for free hit. Uh, yeah. But he gets it. He gets him. Down he goes, armor break, just a stun, and the ball is in a pretty terrible spot for the elves. Well, not really. No. It is, it is elves, right? Yeah. He's got sure hands, pretty close. Pretty bad though. It's pretty much in a cage already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well now it's now it's much uh, harder. Oh, Ooh, he's moved out. Why would you move out? I don't know. No, I worried about the loner standing up. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. I have no idea why you'd move out of that cage. No. Because you were, you were in a cage. like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I suppose the tackle mighty is down as well, so it's probably going to be... Oh, no, there's tackle on that guy there. This guy's just going for the one dice. Nope. Mm. And nope. Did he ever wrestle for you? Could have made that hit, maybe? No. It's all the way back there. He's trapped by the... Uh... Nope. Mm. Not that trapped. There he is now, so he couldn't have really come through anyway. Mm. And uh, does get the knockdown on this fella. Uh, no armor break, though. And uh, see if he can shove some other guys in the way. But this seems a pretty straightforward clear. Or does it? Well, he's got sidesteps. You need one You need one extra guy. I guess you need to knock this guy over. You need to knock over the line on, then it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. But if you okay. can manage to get a 75%, he doesn't yet. Mm. That makes it a bit tricky. Why would you take it that way? Oh, that was the only guy who could take the two dice, because the other guy, right. Yeah, the other guy doesn't okay. have block. And... The other, yeah, well, yeah, but he still had a much better push direction. But you could have just hit, you could have just hit with a white, the wolf, right? And then move yeah, exactly, yeah, and then move that guy away. So, yeah. Didn't... Well, gets it with the second zombie hit. Cool, nice removal as well. Uh, numbers are going to start becoming an issue in this second part of the drive, and decides to apple it for that exact reason. Oh, and doesn't fill in the extra square. No. And decides to the wrong square. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the wolf is trapped, but he has managed to get himself back on the outside. He's going to score. He's going to get. Him. Oh, he's just going to score, yeah, of yeah. course. Because he's moved fucking nine, yeah. yeah. Oh, so maybe he did that to encourage him to score. 
So then he'll yeah, be in normal time. Because at the end of yep. the day, Necronome could have just stalled it out and gone overtime. There was no yes. like yeah, so I guess I guess what looked bad letting him score was actually good because now he scored and yeah. he did go on offense again instead of he yeah. just stalled it out. Yeah, okay, Necronome that's kinda cool then. Yeah. Yeah, Necronome should have just stalled it out, I guess, shouldn't he? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think so. I think he was able to sandwich that guy in there and make it a little bit hard for him to get more than well one dice on a blodger. Um, so I think it was probably probably okay. And if he didn't want to do that, he could have just pulled back and kind of reorganized himself. And oh wow! Now well, he's now he's punished for that touchdown. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. So uh, there might be a way through here. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah. I've spotted one. <laughs> I like the I like the wrestle hit there as well because he's just he's getting him down regardless. Probably with the fact that it was that uh, wrestle hit, I probably wouldn't have hit from that square though because that would have. Oh no, it was fine. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't great because you still have to dodge through the other square and stuff. I would have hit him straight on, I think. But he's definitely able to flood through here, which is pretty huge. Yep. Huge. Sure hands gets it onto the fast boy. Yep. Oh, I thought he was going for a pass there, and I was like, well, if you're going for the pass, why don't you just, uh... Maybe he should have done, he's on 70, yeah. he's on well, 70. No, he's, he's he should have, obviously, he's the two rerolls, and it's 1-1, one, one. of course he shouldn't pass. But... Yeah, but, well, no, but what I'm saying is he takes one more square forward, tags the the flesh golem, and throws it back to him. So yeah, you add one, yeah, use, you add a two the, plus, and then you use yeah. your nerves of steel properly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's cool. a little bit greedy, but it's very strong. Yeah, yeah, that's and not you bad. Don't need to, you, you, and you don't need to use the loner then to come over and base that fella. Yeah. You can use him to cover somebody over and then probably just go and base that uh, the uh, werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, he didn't, so that's fair. Yep. God, that guy's really fast. <laughs> he is, yeah. Movement 9 is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so not, no sidestep on this fella. Oh, there is. Sorry, that is a blitzer. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I should tell, but the dodge first. Oh, oh. The Dublin skulls. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's unfortunate. So where's this uh, blitzer that we wanted to get leveled? That's him there. Um, he got leveled, uh, didn't he? He's up to seven. Oh, he did. Brilliant. Great, great, great. Cool. This so rookie. This rookie that. would be the best, I guess, on three. Uh, on three, yeah. That's the lad to do, I think. Or a completion and touchdown on the guard, but that's really greedy in a in a match that's still in the balance. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. But uh, but hey, fuck it, you know. <laughs> you um, only live twice. Yes, exactly. Is that the one of your bond? Is that the the movie in which uh, <laughs> pushy pushy galore appears? <laughs> <laughs> It could be. <laughs> yep. Oh man, a series, a series of 007 tours songs from Hellboy is going to be amazing. <laughs> right. I'm. I mean, I'm definitely subscribing to that playlist. Yeah. Now, now that's what I call music. Yeah. I'm absolutely terrible at the Dutch accent. So I'm not even going to try. Or well, I could actually try Don't quite worry. well because it's not like any of you guys are doing a good Dutch, a good Dutch accent. Either. Yeah, exactly. We we don't yeah. even try either. Don't worry about yeah. it. Sounds. It's like if Sean Connery was actually trying to put on an accent instead of just you know being a Scottish, Russian, uh, uh, U-boat captain and you know all the other fantastic um, things he's played. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point of him being a fire in his cape, right? Because he's Scottish, or not yes. the his kilt rather. His kilt, yep, he's got his kilt, yep. and he's got he his uh, Spanish Inquisition hat, and he's got of a bullfighting jacket. Yep. <laughs> no, that's yeah. what I call music, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, good man, Hellboy. Amazing. He strikes okay, he like Chunter power. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. You only push twice. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah. This is gonna be—you can do a whole album. <laughs> we, there really is. I mean, well, let's. Yeah, it's the great thing about the community is there's some very witty people in here, and uh, you could crowdsource a pretty funny uh, reaction. Yeah. Um. Cool. Push comes in. Uh, that's gonna be nice for another stall, I think. Uh, ooh, did you not have room over on the left-hand side? Why? Why leave yourself so close to the? Oh no, I suppose they could just go around the top, couldn't they? Because yeah. they're fast. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're, um, yeah, they're basically as fast as you. <laughs> We're faster, right? We've got move nine and two yeah. big dodges. So. Oof. Okay. So, uh, unfortunate snake there, but uh, he's fine. Yeah. Dice um, fall. That's a good one. Holy shit. Dice fall. That's really good. Yeah. And that dice fall. <laughs> Yeah, I would have to do some Shirley Bassey numbers as well to go along with these. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> you only skull twice. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, he's just going for the up. He's going for the uphill. He doesn't care. Oh, well, he gets, the uh, pass, so he's all right. he gets the pow straight away because it does have tackle on it. Uh, just trying to make it a little bit difficult for him to get away, I suppose. But I mean, you have to be careful about where he. Fills the other squares he fills there. Yeah, it's not really working, is it? It's not. No, it isn't. No, because it's essentially just a two plus away. Yeah, you always skull twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's that much makes much more sense. <laughs> yeah, you're dead right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great. Every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. So, not a great game from uh, Necronome overall. I suppose he just was never really in it, right? He just... Um, oh. I mean, you're, you're hard to go out. Oh, my God. He's rolled a one. He has rolled a one. It's the real Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Whew. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, just never really got himself into it. Um, I mean, losing the, the, the foul at the start kind of set a tone for the rest of the game. There was just a little bit of... Um, he was a little, just a little bit spread out too much. And uh, obviously, you know, the wizard came in and the wizard was what helped him turn him over and stuff. And then he was on the back foot and uh, but not being able to get any pressure on him so that he could stall all the way out to turn eight. Uh, the fact that it was Parvel's drive, he did very well to turn him over and get the, the get it back to one one. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure um, it was. I'm not sure he'd be very happy with the, some of the decisions here overall. No, yeah, um, maybe some chalice nerves, right? Like with with the getting the turnover and banging it in, like do you know what I mean? Like yes. maybe as if he could go back, he would have mm. uh, he would have then consolidated that turn and, and stalled out the half, and then it's one one. Like he was unlucky as well with removals, right? He hasn't moved anybody in like uh, yeah, turns for sure. Yeah. Okay, he hasn't had like maybe too many hits or, or whatever, but like. Yeah, not do anything to armor seven over sixteen turns is is pretty. Crazy. No, it, it's it is it's very rare and uh, uh, and to be down down and go yourself for the foul as well. But uh, well, he did. He had, I think, at the time uh, when he did score go over, there were there were two KOs. Yes. Um, for the so that was the one time that he had the numerical advantage. So, yeah, maybe that was uh, but that was the time to kind of put more pressure on. Yeah. Um. Is setting up for the one turn here uh, going to be pretty tricky to get through the side steppers though, because yes. he does have three side steppers on the line. Um. Okay. Is he going to be able to fill this? Oh, it's a quick snap, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, it wasn't. It wasn't actually a kick, quick snap. It was his setup was for a quick snap so that he could fill the squares. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Live and let dust. Uh, Yet yeah, the jolly yellow man is indeed Mr. Tato, <laughs> national treasure. And uh, if anybody says anything about Mr. Tato, they have to fight me in the back of a car park, <laughs> uh, as is laid down by uh, the president of Ireland. Have you ever seen a picture of the president of Ireland? I think uh, I might have done before. He's adorable. He's basically Dobby the house elf. <laughs> He's like just so adorable. He's gorgeous. Uh, his name is Michael D. Higgins. Michael D. Michael D. Michael D. Michael D. Michael D. Michael D. Higgins. <laughs> and uh, he's the he's the best thing ever. Oh yeah, wow! We're, yeah. We all we all absolutely love him. He does. He has a big dog, and the big dog is always coming over and annoying him during the things. And he'll he'll play with his dog when he's in the middle of like you know talking about world peace and stuff. He's class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I have seen him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so uh, that was a great game. Thanks so much uh, for having me on. Uh, commiserations to Necronome. Uh, congratulations, Paravel, on getting through to the second round. Glorious. Thank you very much for being on. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>